it's my birthday tonight and nothing better than to celebrate with a parabola. Imperial stuff from Firestone. Except this is almost two years old. It's 2012. And um, it was probably bottled around April of 2012, and it's now February 24th. It's also happy birthday to DJ's Brewtube and his second anniversary. This is this is 12.5% ABV, um, barrel aged, and this is a reserve series 003. Oh and it has one finger head. It's exceptionally dark. It's 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 opaque. It's really a wonderful, wonderful, um, very subtle, but a subtle and complex um, milk chocolate aroma. I don't. I'm not getting the coffee in here. but I am getting the oak. It's very, very uh, subtle. Mouthfeel is, um, it's relatively mild. Okay. This is incredible. It's it's because it's solid. It's highly, highly complex. There's layers upon layers of flavor in this. There's oak. There's chocolate. There's cocoa. There's a hint of malt, and there's a slight alcohol in the finish. But when a beer sells well, which is not all the time, what I've noticed is that it becomes more layered. I noticed that with the, with the Imperial Stout, um, <clears throat> with Bourbon County, uh, and uh, <clears throat> or certain uh, flavors can become more pronounced or brought out. It's the subtlety is there. If you drink a Russian Imperial Stout, uh, not and be fresh, it's different. Um, there's, there's more up front. This is layered. I mean, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, and as I'm, as it's warming up, I'm also, uh, there's a, there's a greater, uh, chocolate aroma. I'm not getting the coffee, though. But it's almost like a chocolate ice cream, like a cocoa to it. Um, <clears throat> and the and the finish is becoming more alcoholic. And now the cocoa is starting to come in. All right. <clears throat> Um, I could go on and on about this. A lot of you know about this beer. Uh, it's a really, it's, it, it's an incredible beer. Uh, worth cellaring. You can get a hold of a bottle. Uh, <clears throat> it's a wonderful beer, especially cellared because of the different, different levels of flavor and the perfect birthday beer. So I'm going to sip on this until we meet again. Cheers.